Wow, that was fast. That dude fired as soon as we got into the queue. Today we're doing a stipulation by Music Manly, uh, Twitch subscriber Music Manly. And the stipulation is, it's a its a tricky one, so you gotta, gotta keep with me here. We sort the pack by rarity, because that's usually how it defaults. Uh, and starting from the top left, cards are numbered. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. Um, in the first pack, we have to take only odd cards. So we can take 1, 3, 5, 8, 7, etc. Uh, in the second pack, we take only evens. And then the third pack, we can take whatever we want. Now, this has something to do with casting costs. It's literally just how we're ordering the pack. So we can't take Chandra. We can't take Anguished. We have to take the odd cards. 1, 3, five seven so we can actually take the second card here which is nice okay that's good to know it might just be polluted delta since that's the case no new no. i think it's better than catacombs and it puts us in blue which i like i don't know if you guys knew that about me i'm gonna take the polluted delta all right so again we have one three five seven now yeah so i guess it's always gonna be these two always these two these two and then this one Okay. Okay. Seems good. This does... Is there an exception for power? Oh, it does say exceptions for power. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's good to know. <laughs> I always want to make sure of that because that's one of the coolest things that you can get. Getting ready to do the Lord's work. And by Lord, I mean our Dark Lord. G-Daddy, praise his name. Pay seven draws. <laughs> that is the good Lord. I want to take this Dak Faden, though. I'm pretty sure Dak Faden is actually better than, than Mana Vault. Um, I, I know that sounds that probably sounds weird, but Dak Faden can steal mana vaults along with you know other other things. So I'm gonna take this Dak Faden. Oh, I got a Karn too. One, two, three, two. one, three. How come it seems like there's the same number of cards? But I guess there was one here, and it just was irrelevant last time. So there actually is the same number of cards because there was just an odd card, an even card here that that we couldn't take. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There were seven choices in both these past two packs. Compulsive Research, also good. You can't take Dak. It was the first in the pack. Yes, I can. You can take the. You can only take odd cards. You can take the first card, the third card, the fifth card, the seventh card, etc. No, this is still pack one. <laughs> this is this whole pack is pack one. This is pack two, and this is pack three. This is you guys. You guys don't know. How, this is you guys are confusing what packs are. This is not the third pack. This is still pack one. There are three packs in a draft. This is pick. This is pick three. Yeah, we're going to take the Karn here. Um, I've been actually pretty impressed with Karn because his ability is actually significantly stronger in cube. One, two, one, three, five. Oh, we can't take this Ancient Tomb. That's super, super upsetting. I'm going to take this Thran Dynamo. Uh, that card's super strong, and we also have Karn. I, th I, I, we have no reason to commit to colors other than Dak Faden colors right now. None of these cards are super impressive. Okay, there you go. You guys figured it out. We got it. Also, that should clear it up for any YouTube uh, YouTube watchers who are like, he's not going by the stimulation. And uh, Grave Titan seems pretty... I'm just going to take the first card in every pack, apparently. It was Dak, Karn, and Grave Titan. Three of the five cards we've taken were the first pick. One, two... Painful True is also pretty good. Like, three cards for three mana in cube is pretty okay. Oh, actually, I'll fix that. I, I didn't update the stip. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um... There we go. I think it's either Grave Titan or Painful Truths. Uh, I think Grave Titan is probably better, especially with Thran Dynamo. But it does put us in three colors. So does Painful Truths, though. Yeah, I'll just take Grave Titan. I think it's a very strong card. One, three. Dang, no Coercive Portal and no Blood Crypt. One, three, five, seven. Yeah, this pack is pretty bad for us. Sort of Body and Mind seems okay. Basalt Monolith could be okay. We already have Thran Dynamo. It does ramp us to Grave Titan pretty efficiently. Breeding pool. I really want this Blood Crypt, but I'm gonna take the Basalt Monolith. Oh, we got a Dark Slick Shores though. One. 
yeah, we'll just take the Dark Slick Shores. Seems very good. And the Black Cleave Cliffs. That seems pretty sweet. Uh, one, three, five. We could also take the Shriek Maw. That seems pretty good. I think I just want the fixing at this point. I don't really want to... I want I want to hit Dak when we hit him. Hit him when we hit him. Mesmeric Fiend is actually significantly better than Brain Maggot, I think. And the reason being that you could actually remove it or bounce it while the ability's on the stack and they never get the card back. Uh, which is a benefit of the old templating, where they're two separate triggers. And I think that's what we're going to take here. One, three, five. Tithal Skeller seems okay. I'm probably just going to take the Nissa in case we end up green. Noxious Gearhog actually seems pretty good. So does Search for Tomorrow, though. We could actually just splash the deck and go... This is interesting. I think we're gonna take Noxious Gear Hulk. I don't think we need to I don't think we need to go into green yet. Eh, yeah, murderous cut's great here. Alright. Yay, I'm okay. Alright, pack two. Oh, not yet. I just made that up. That's a lie. I'm gonna take this eternal witness. So now like in, in the last in the last pack we can only get one card. It's gotta be the first one. Actually, was the eternal witness the second card there? No, it was the third card. Yeah, okay, so now there's going to be two picks, and I have to take the first one. Yeah, I think this deck, I think this deck looks sweet so far. I have no complaints about this, this setup here. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a great one to pick up. Oh, so was this one actually. All right, so it's second, so now it's these two, these two, these two, and this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, four, six, eight, and then ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay. One, two, three, four. We do have one polluted delta, but death rate shaman doesn't seem great otherwise. We're not an opposition deck. Not a top deck. Top deck. <laughs> uh, one, two. Oh, we can't take it in Tomb, though, unfortunately. So. Well, we can't take in Tomb, so. <laughs> Again, we can't take in Tomb. Uh, it might just be opposition, but I don't think so. Shaman might be the best pick in this pack. We can just try to pick up more fetch lands. I don't like top at all. I mean, basically mono black except for the Dak Faden, which is pretty funny. I'm going to go with Death Rage Shaman. I think it's probably one of the best picks in the pack. I don't think it's great, but it does do a thing. Oh, Mull Drifter. That's a pick. One, yep, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we're just going to take the Mull Drifter. Brian, I did not get my case yet. When you said that, I was like, did you mail me one? I, I, I had to do it. I was like, wait, what? Because that's a literally like some kind of crazy thing you'd do. Uh, two, four, six, eight, which is a good quality. <laughs> that's a good quality if that's the kind of crazy things you're known for. So, Which Karn did we get? What do you mean? The Karn, this one. Otherwise, it would be over here at eight. Yeah, we're taking definitely taking Glenlanger Archmage. I wish we could take this Necromancy. Maybe it comes back. Ooh, two. Ooh. Ooh, Scrabble God. I don't know why I call him that, but it's it's funny and it's worked out, so I'm just going to keep doing it. Yeah, this deck looks sweet so far. I'm a fan of what's going on here. Two, six, eight. Ultimate price? Ultimate price seems fine. Oh, Brian, that's sick, dude. Let's let's do it. I'm in. Also, Days is a card. Is it Days or Ultimate Price? Yeah, it's Scribble Dodd. <laughs> Scribble Dodd, also the name of my uh, fictional character from the novel I'm writing. I was at Target today and guess what time it is? Hamster Waddle Ball time. That's amazing. I don't even I don't even have words for it. It's either days or ultimate price. We have murderous cut. I think it's actually still ultimate price. Ultimate price is pretty good. Oh oh no Gristlebrand and Metamorph were in the wrong slots. 
So is this Chupacabra. Wow, this pack is terrible for us. Oh, Gristle Dad and Metamorph, why? <sighs> I'm going to take this Tezzeret. We have a good number of artifacts, especially with this Karn. I think we can make something out of it. But boy, there are some picks in this pack that I'm sad about. Oh, old Massy Worm. Also, a Phantasmal Image is a thing. Mask Worm? I think we have enough six drops. I think we're going to go with the Phantasmal Image. Two, four, six. Yeah, I always want to make sure that we're taking the right one. And then we got two, four, six. Rift Bolt. Eh, we'll just take the Chandra. We're not super red right now, but I think it's the strongest card out of Huntmaster, Colonnade, Rift Bolt. And we're definitely playing Dak. Hopefully there's some good lands. Oh, the last pack is the last pack is a free-for-all, so we can take whatever we want, which is super nice. I'm also sad about passing the big dumb hee haw mouth to four. See now we have like now we have some opposite picks, which is super interesting. We can't take opposition now. But we can take Nizumi Short Fang, I guess. That's a that's a dude. It's not really that much of a dude. Two, four. We can just take the brain maggot, I guess. Two, four, or a lightning helix. Probably just Brain Maggot. Now we have Brain Maggot and Mesmeric Fiend. Ooh, Sword of Light and Shadow. I want this Necromancy, but unfortunately it's never been on the right side. Of the it's on the wrong side of the tracks, guys. I took the Dark Vision over the sword because it is the worst sword. And if we do end up being white for some strange reason, we already have Courtyard and Declaration and Stone is a pretty reasonable removal pick. So can we just not play the last? No, that seems pretty ridiculous. I'm pretty sure we just take it and if it's good, we play it. That seems real. That seems real. Like, that seems like a real stickler. Two, four. I'll take the Edric. 100%. 100% take Edric. We also have some relatively good green cards and only one. And also Deathrite Shaman. We only have one Dak Faden. We have no good green uh, mana, though, so. I just clicked on the screen at least 15 times. Why isn't this pausing? I don't understand. All right, Wall of Blossoms it is. And the next pick is going to be right here. Let's see what it is. Phyrexian Metamorph or Gristlebrand one time. The Gristlebrand will actually never be here because it will always be the first card in the pack. I have this, like, itch in my ear. Eh, Dissenter's Deliverance, which is actually playable if we are green. So... The green is looking a lot better than the, than the red right now, but the red is a little easier to splash. Not only because of Black Cleave Cliffs, but because uh, it's only one card rather than an entire deck. Consecrated Sphinx and Leovold and Mana Crypt. This is a heck of a pack. Wow. Happy accident, we get to be Sultai. Oh, darn it. Oh, Biscuits. God, Leovold is super good. Consecrated Sphinx is my favorite card ever. And then there's Mana Crypt. Boy, oh boy. It's got to be just Mana Crypt, right? We have a bunch of artifacts that go well with the Mana Crypt. Tezzeret actually goes well with the Mana Crypt. It's turn two Thran Dynamo. Turn two Karn. It's got to be Mana Crypt. But, boy, does that feel bad. Enjoy your Consecrated Sphinx, future Magic the Gathering players. That are to my right. Tinker? Are we a Tinker deck? We're not a Tinker deck yet. Yet. No, we're not We're not going to be a Tinker deck. Torrential Gear Hulk? Are we a Gear Hulk deck? We have Murderous Cut and Ultimate Price. We are not a Gear Hulk deck either. Are we a Bayou deck? Maybe. Are we a Baleful Strix deck? Probably. Especially with Tezzeret and uh, Karn. Yeah, I don't think we have any reason to go into... Our picks are pretty limited, though. We only have 16 playables here. Sarcastatron, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. I will keep on keeping on. Gearhulk is an artifact, but it's also 6 mana. And so is Baleful Strix. Actually, Bitter Blossom is pretty good. Maybe we just want the Bitter Blossom. Bitter Blossom does protect our Planeswalkers pretty well. I'm going to take the Bitter Blossom. Oh, treachery? Oh, yes, please. 
Let's be treacherous. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to take treachery here. Uh, I like a remand. None of these lands are very good, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess we're just remanding. Scrubland, cast down. Oh, Golgari Signet actually seems pretty good. That's actually perfect for us. It still lets us ramp to the four drops. It lets us cast... Well, not many of these, unfortunately. But it's still it's still a green signet which lets us activate Deathrite Shaman. So that's not nothing. I don't see us playing a Scrubland. Cast down's kind of narrow. We could take Inferno Titan, but double red is a little bit hard on our mana. Are we double Tezzeretting? I don't think it's Fatal Push. I don't think it's Exhume. I think it just might be Tezzeret here. <laughs> Some Bitter Blossom and Mana Crypt. I see. I too like to live dangerously. Yeah, we took Tezzeret because I don't think there's anything else in that pack that's really worth taking. Colagon's Command is pretty good. Duplicant is pretty good. I think we got some real expensive stuff here. I'm going to move this Moldrifter. I don't know if Recurring Nightmare is good. We have Moldrifter. We can sacrifice Karn tokens. We do have Bitter Blossom. Actually, yeah, let's get Recurring Nightmare. Recurring Nightmare Bitter Blossom seems great. I also like Duress here. I don't know if we'll main deck it, but it is a very playable card. Frasca came back. Living Death came back. Uh, I think I'm taking the Vraska just to have it. Uh, I, I don't know if we're going to be Dak Fadening. We might be Vraskaing instead, but we'll see. I just got here, but this deck needs a shoulder. Chad, buddy? Don't they all? When I suggest something and you agree with it, I feel momentarily smart. All you need is that just all you need is that moment. That moment of smartness. Buy you. And the Baleful Strix came back. It's gotta be Baleful Strix here. The red black land is not fetchable, unfortunately. So we only have one black source. We only have one red source. I think it's still Golgar. I think it's still this guy. Um, Bone Shredder seems good. Might just cut Dak Faden. We might just be straight blue black. Ib1225, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Arctic seems pretty good. We have a lot of interaction. We have ways to deal with things. I really wish we had more ways to cast this deck, Faden. I figured we'd see more lands. Right now, it's really only Black Cleave Cliffs, or if we get a Deathrite Shaman and a Fetch Land. Or I guess if they have a Fetch Land, which is actually pretty reasonable. I think Dak is still good enough to play. Uh, I'll just take Abby yeah, my elder. Uh, I'll just take Mutable. Actually, Deathrite Shaman, come back. Where did you go? Did you like. Oh, you're in your own spot? I got gotcha. you. I need my own column. Okay, whatever you want, buddy. I think we're probably cutting Bone Shredder or. Maybe Mesmeric Fiend. I wish we could Recurring Nightmare with the Mesmeric Fiend trigger on the stack, but unfortunately you have to activate it as a sorcery. Oh, Deranged Hermy. Alright, put you over here. Dun, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
cut Dak. Dak is so good, though. Dak is very, very good. It steals artifacts, which almost every deck in the cube has. And it's forever. They can't actually kill Dak and get their artifact back. Kill Dak, get their artifact back. We're going to go Delta, Dark Slick, Black Cleave, Mana. Let's see how many times we die to having our own... Having our, our Black Cleave Cliff come into play tapped. We're going to add one, one basic mountain. Wow, they didn't even say that. They didn't even want that. So six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to eight, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, twelve. It's only 15 lands. Do we have to cut something? We have to cut something, don't we? Okay. <coughs> oh, I don't really like Wall of Blossoms that much, but I could see playing it because of Recurring Nightmare. But if we're splashing green, I definitely don't want it that early. Why is Treachery in the three drop slot? There we go. Murderous Cut, you're more like a three mana spell. We also have double Tezzeret. Tezzeret can find... I'm going to actually take a screenshot of the deck right now before we start because I want to be able to uh, reference what we can search for with Tezzeret. Uh, I think Strix is better for, for better than Wall, yeah. Treachery is basically a land. That's a good point. That's a good point. I had not considered that. Um, I think it might be Bone Shredder over. It's a cheap spell though. I only have ten creatures. Hmm. Actually, maybe it's Murderous Cut. Yeah, that seems fine. I don't know how much we're going to be... We're not going to be delving that much. And uh, All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue sources. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black sources. Let's add another blue source. All right. It's maybe the first deck you've seen me play with Joyra. Wow, you have not been watching many cube drafts, my friend. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot to screenshot, you're right. Um, I'm going to keep this hand just because we have Signet and all of our colors. I got one. <laughs> I got you, fam. Yeah, our Joyra drafting has slowed down quite a bit. I think we were on Joyra for a while, but... I mean, I'm still on Joyra. I just I, I haven't had a chance to... Uh, to pick her, so. Oh, I see. Fashion related to the party. Don't force spike me, bro. They didn't. They're good people. They have heart. <clears throat> oh, I see. Dak Faden. Treachery. Dang it. Dang it. Biscuits. That would have been deck fading there would have been insane. Let me get that signet. Music Manly, you are the, the hero this stream needs, but not the one we deserve. Deck fading off the top. Decky McMacky. Give me that deck McFaden. Okay, hundred percent deck off the top. It's a swamp. It's not the same. Mm 
Big Tears. All right, let's see what we got here. What can we get? We just got a Baleful Strix here. I like the card. I, I like getting cards. We could just play Grave Titan next turn, which is pretty gas. Um, you got a Baleful Strix. Sort of Body and Mind and Baleful Strix are the two cards that are standing out for me. I think we're going to get a sword here. Because we have a Treachery and a Grave Titan, so we actually have lots of things to equip. Sword. Plus they're blue, so... You know. It's, they're also green and red and white and black, so... You know. Lots of things to do. They also have five cards. That's a lot. I guess we have a creature and a Planeswalker on board. Hmm. Well, it's all making sense now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana this turn. That's including playing the top and topping. So this guy's 1,000% dead, right? I wish we had another source of artifact, man, and we could untap it. Untappy tappy. I'm really afraid of throwing out a Grave Titan here. I'm also afraid of just attacking with this guy. Like, if we put a sword on this guy, we have one, two, three, four. We untap this, we have five mana. So we can't actually do much if we try to equip this guy. Which is pretty scary. They have three cards. Like, even so much as a Venser is pretty good here. I guess we can just... They can actually go Venser, bounce the sword, and then block. Which is pretty bad. Myself a merry little titan. It's a grave titan. We left the blow up because of four spike representation. All right, they didn't have anything. Doctor Funkburger, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You are a gentleman and a scholar, sir. Okay, Soulfire Grandmaster. This is where we die to time walk. Time walk. This is where we just don't get to take any more turns. Oh boy, activate time walk. Yep, here we go. And can Oh, what did they cast? Cast down? Okay. <clears throat> That's significantly better. And I can actually steal this so that they don't get to do that shenanigan again. Now I'm just going to kill it instead. <laughs> okay. Seems good. Untap up to two target. I'll choose this one. Auto sub. No worries on the Twitch Prime loss for me. Dude, thanks so much, buddy. You are uh, the hero we need. I'm just going to Gear Hulk this because I don't feel like having Treachery hit it. Oh, yeah. Let's use the ability. I'm game. If you want to cast down this Zombo, that is okay. You also have to use a Pentad Prism counter. It's a good deal. You got it. Cast down on a Zombo. You have one card? All right. I'm in. I'm game. All right, I think we're good. I think we're doing it. Oh, never mind. 
They're just going to play Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, like you do. I guess we have treachery for that. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Discard up to two dudes. Do, 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 do. Did they discard none? Okay. It's a choice. It's a valid choice. Tippity top. What are we getting with this? Tezzeret, are we searching for anything? Probably not. We're probably just untapping, right? Oh, they drew a card with show and tell. No. Oh my god, I'm going to steal this. <laughs> this is fantastic. Show me that smile again. Let's hit... Nope. You're... Oh, and that'll do it. All right. <laughs> stealing... Stealing the blight steel gets the job done. Seems... Oh, hey, guys, remember that time we talked about how show and tell was a trap? Still a trap. Don't a quick body and mind to the robot is a solid... Solid suggestion. I kind of want to duress here. They seem like they got some shenanigans going on. Also, ultimate price does not seem great here. Actually, Bone Shredder seems worse if they're playing a bunch of artifact bros. I'm going to keep this hand. If we happen to draw one of our few red sources, we did not yet. Black Cleave Cliffs into Dak Faden into Tezzeret into Karn would be pretty good. Oh, I'm probably going to play that first. Make sure you know how many four drop shenanigans going on here. Uh, spell Skite. Can't cast Blightsteel Agent. Manic Vandal. I'm just going to take your top. <laughs> well, that sounds much worse than I, than I meant it. Give me your top. That's, that's not appropriate at all. Barbecue sauce. Red. Arr! Stack Faden is taunting us. They did not play a land. For obvious reasons. They did not have one. Spellskite. Alright, we're on borrowed time here. But this guy's pretty good. So is Tezzeret next turn. So I am okay with that. Do we make an art no, we don't make an artifact, we just start revealing. Oh, you can give me this instead of the Gearhawk? That's rude. We gotta get rid of this spell skite, otherwise they just treachery it. They just redirect. An island. Here comes the Shardless Agent. No Shardless Agent. We know three of the four cards in your hand. Hmm. Interesting. Why no Charlotte? Why no Charlotte's agent?
Is like, did you did you draw a counter spell? Is one counter spell your draw? Oh, we're getting, we're definitely getting Scarab God next turn. Yeah, I'll drift. I'll drift moles. All right. Well, it's not a counter spell. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're gonna toxic deluge, and you want to play shardless agent in a deluge, because that's pretty good. Oh, now you're all right. Now shardless agent. Boros Signet. Seems good. That's actually very good because it helps you cast your your two red cards in hand. But we don't have any artifacts on board, so the Manic Vandal is not really that great here. And Zealous Conscripts can take a Karn and then just draw a card. What are our two... Got Noxious Gear Hulk and Scarab God. <clears throat> Nothing in the graveyard. Interesting. And we know their their hand is Manic Vandal, as well as Conscripts, and one other card. Delta does not get it. Recurring Nightmare doesn't even do much. I guess we can just play Tezzeret. We can play Tezzeret, get an artifact creature. I can get a Baleful Strix for two, and if they kill it with Vandal, we can get it back with um, Spell Skite. No, it's not with uh, Recurring Nightmare. Which is pretty good. That also lets us put Mole Drifter in the bin. And maybe hit a red source. No red source. Okay. So activated you, activated you. Eight cards, huh? We're not going to discard deck fading because it's just very very good if we end up hitting it we'll discard an island here rocking at the midnight something with the dawn manic vandal who saw that guy put delta in the yard in case you get shaman and you can use that's true actually that's a good point but i guess we can just we can just crack it anyway if we get Shaman, we can actually just... I don't know if you knew this music manly, but we can actually crack that polluted delta. Leovold! Oh, dang. That is exciting. Who are you hitting? Tezzeret? Yeah, we'll just block this guy. We'll double block this guy. Get him off the board. Plus, if we get Scarab God, it's just a dude. It's just a dude in the yard. It's just a dude with attitude. So your last card is Zealous Conscripts. Okay, great. Great. How, well, dang it. Well, biscuits. Um, so if we try to treachery this guy, they just redirect, right? And then how do we deal with this guy? We can't steal Leovold. For one, they're going to draw a card, and for two, we're gonna, they're going to just redirect it to Spellskite. <clears throat> um, what can we get here for two? Not much, right? So, we can attack for three. We've got some pretty consistent pressure here. Do we care about... I, maybe we could just get Tezzeret? That seems bad. Scarab God could be good. One, two, three, four, five. One. They could actually Zealous Conscripts and bring something back, though, which is pretty pretty rough. We can actually Noxious Gear Hulk 
uh, and kill the Spellskite, which leaves us open. Let's do this. Let's go negative one. We'll get Gear Hulk, and then next turn we can steal the. Let's try to kill the Leovold because it makes them use their mana. Yep, so they're going to kill the Spellskite, and then they're going to draw the card. Actually, I think they drew two cards. I didn't know that was how that worked. Because you're changing the target. So, whatever. I mean, that's worse, but I didn't think that was how that worked. Oh, boy. Just going to give them a million cards here, but I guess we get to take the best one. Oh, gross. Cast down. Now we have Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Mishra's Workshop. Yeah, I don't care about any of those cards. All right. That's fine. Um, yeah, had I known that, I actually would have just targeted the spell skite. I didn't know redirecting was was targeting it again. I thought it was targeted once, and then you just it was just redirected. I didn't think that was a totally separate instance of targeting. So they're going to go, they can go cast down on this guy. And then they can zealous conscripts this guy, cast down this guy, get their top back. Whatever. I think we're at 20. I think it's fine. We have two blockers, so we can block Noxious Gear Hulk, I guess, before we get it back. Or they can just cast Sphinx of the Steel Wind, which is also fine. Yep, that seems good. I'm probably just going to steal Sphinx of the Steel Wind and not worry too much about... Because they can't actually steal their own Sphinx back with... Oh, that's a, that's a dude. Let's get an island. <laughs> After midnight... Of course, next we can't actually deck fade in this either because then it, it's pro red. But being pro red is great against them because they can't actually target it with uh, zealous conscripts. So I mean, other hand is zealous conscripts in one other card. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. If we had nine, I'd consider playing Scarab God here because then we can activate it in the same turn. But I think we're just gonna draw again. Oh, Black Leaf Cliffs. All right, well, that is a thing. Is there anything we can sacrifice? We can actually, Recurring Nightmare, sacrifice Noxious Gear Hulk. to get back Baleful Strix, but we're not going to be able to draw another card. I don't think that matters. Then we sacrifice that to kill Leovold. Maybe. I don't know. We're not doing anything else this turn, I guess. And we gain three from that. That's pretty good. No cards drawn today. Uh, let's go tonight. We could actually put the signet too. Actually, I didn't. I didn't. Didn't think about the mana correctly. Yeah, you're gonna draw, but we're gonna gain three, and you're not gonna have a leave old anymore, which is a little more relevant. Uh, that was GG at two thirty three. That was twelve minutes ago. That was after game one. All right, one down. We know you have conscripts. I drew lightning greaves and actually blightsteel colo. Ho 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 ho! That's intriguing. 
Wow, that deck fading. He gone now. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? I mean, our board is great. Toxic Deluge for four. Still keeps Sphinx alive. Tinker. Okay, okay. Okay. Even if you give it haste, we're still fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> All the things. Okay, okay. The Sphinx still kills you, right? Okay, Metal Worker. I think you died. And that's the end. All right, sweet. Good times. I don't think Leovold is deceptively strong. I think Leovold is overtly strong. Return to game. I can't, I can't bring up the chat anymore. Okay, well, that sucks. Would have liked to say good game if they said good game, but... Hugging after midnight. I will play first. Oh, we're going to keep this hand based solely on this Bitter Blossom. And then we have very, very strong cards at 4, 5, and 6. So, How dare you try to talk to them after the game ends. The game is over, good sir. Go about your business. On your way. Go on. Go, go. Yeah, Leval also prevented us from drawing a card. So, I mean, it's basically... There's a lot of card advantage being had there. Why do you guys show up all the time? I think we actually just play Shaman here. And then next turn play a Karn. We're not doing this now, though, because they could have... I ain't walking into no mana tithe. Although I think they did have six. Play around got him, exactly. We've got him enough in this... Here we go. Brimaz. History of Benalia. I think that's... I think that's okay. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to play that guy. Eh. <laughs> Get him. <sighs> Thanks, stay hydrated, bot. Oh boy, now I'm regretting my... Well, I'm not really. If I can draw any land here, we're in great shape. We can just steal this. No. Land. That's not a land. Actually, it puts us in terrible shape. And we have to... Yep, alright. That's pretty brutal. I'm not a fan. And this is a knight? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, Brett, that's uh, that's Death Rite Shaman's fourth mode. That's fourth Planeswalker mode, the attack for one. Yep. Uh, we're having a good time. Gonna take a lot of damage here. Even if we treachery, we don't get to untap the dude. Oh, this is brutal. This one turn where we missed a land drop. If we could have treachery this, then untapped, kept up remand, or just played a Karn. Can you imagine the difference in... Oh, they stacked it wrong! <sighs> I had such faith that they would stack it correctly that I didn't even do it. Ugh, oh, that's so brutal. I can't activate this guy? Oh, I guess it's not a... Is that not a mana ability? That's weird. I mean, they have double blue up right now, so I think there's no way this is resolving. We are a, a day late and a dollar short with this guy. They're deciding which counter spell they want to use. Wow. 
Yep, we're done here. <laughs> That's the end of that. Wow, that was... I, I think it's hilarious how how big of a difference that one land drop was. How big of a difference that one land drop Yeah, I mean, like, it's just pretty backbreaking. I feel like I almost want this murderous cut in here, but it's pretty expensive. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep the sand. Still got that treachery. See, now the question is, do we Golgari Signet on turn two, or do we just keep the remand up? We got Sneaky Mox Guy over here. I think being on the play, we can, we can risk Signet here. So they can just mana leak it. Oh, no, they still... Or not, I was going to say Force Spike, but still nothing, huh? All right. Oh, we're doing good. Doing good. All right, we're just going to pass here. I mean, this seems like more of an aggressive deck. The only... I mean, I guess they do have... Um, I guess History is a spell. So that actually is a good point. We could duress them for that. Mystic Confluence is also definitely worth taking. I could see duress coming in. Tezzeret actually might be a little bit too dirtily here. So technically, when they, whenever there's a spell on the stack, they could literally choose to redirect to Spellskite X number of times and draw a card each time. Because that's pretty insane. That's a pretty ridiculous combo. It's like, it's basically paying two life to draw a card. Like, I'll pay two, draw a card. I'll pay two, I'll draw a card. I'll pay two, I'll draw a card. I'm going to remand this just because I want the card. Not because I think it's the best use of remand. But also because if we... Oh. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play Tezzeret. Untap three. Give me something to play. Okay, a swamp is not what I was looking for. Can you not redirect a spell that's already targeting Tezzeret or tar targeting Spellskite? I feel like you could have. Actually, do we want to play this Mana Crypt here? Depends on what we're doing, I guess. I guess we're just getting, we're probably just getting Baleful Strix here. I wish we had Course of Portal. I would go get a Course of Portal for sure. But I like putting a body on the board, and also it gives us a lot of mana next turn. Sure. Rockin' after midnight. Brack, brack, chicken box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. 9, 10, 11. We have 11 mana next turn. We could hard cast maybe a Blightsteel Colossus. I think that guy costs 11. Probably costs 12 because I think it costs 11. It's 12! Dang it! Does Darksteel Colossus cost 12? Or 11, rather? Oh, Darksteel is 11. Dang it, I'm so dumb. So stupid. Spells that can't be targeted by the same spell or ability twice. Dang it. Whatever, spell sky, you're a dummy. Nobody even Wow. 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 So what we can do is go one, two, three, four, the Rand Dynamo. One, two, three. Untap these two. Four, five. Steal you. Untap this, 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 and this. And uh, that seems pretty okay, I guess. I don't think we have any follow-up. I'm not going to play... I wish we had a Grave Titan here. That'd be great, but... 
you know, no bueno. It works with two skites, but I mean, what are the odds you have Sky Skite Leopold? At that point, at the, the three card combo is just worse than the two card combo of that. So, this is a lot of mana, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen mana now. We're basically in hard cast Emrakul range. Rocking. Why is this song stuck in my head? Nobody knows. That's life. Life is just getting songs in your head and you don't even understand why. Oh, they're going to do a thing. Oh, you're blinking your own little guy. Isn't that special? Sure, you can have that. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Dak Faden, here you are. Uh, obviously, he's one of the colorless mana. Can we... So, one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, we're definitely going to have enough. <laughs> Not really close. We could also put into play sword and attack them. Mill them for like a million, make a wolf. Oh, Muldrifter. Discarding the lands here. Or maybe I just discard Mana Crypt. Do we care about the Mana Crypts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. So we can actually go... We can actually play both of these this turn? Yeah, let's do that. So, 1, 2, 3, this again. So, <laughs> this is pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4... Kill this guy. Crack you. We we have a black source here and here. Eh, it's still fine. Cast a mole drifter. All right. Ash Manuel, take it easy, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. You had me singing Cheryl Crow for two hours the other day. Fantastic. That's all you can really ask for, I think. All I want to do is play Mall Drifters, and I got a feeling I'm not the only one. Yeah, these, this mox is a lot worse when you're only getting a prowess trigger and not a whole other guy with a prowess trigger, so that's pretty good. What is your personal favorite card in M19? I'm not there. I haven't actually looked uh, thoroughly enough. I will be posting an article. I mentioned this the other day. I'll be posting an article about my top eight favorite cards from M19, so I will let you know in that article. I'll be posting it to Patreon, so be sure to check out my Patreon page if you guys have not done so. The link is in the description. It's in every description ever. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to block here. If you have a if you have a trick to get rid of my noxious gear hulk, that's fine. Toxic deluge for two, perhaps. Wrath of God, sure. We're just gonna draw. Uh, what's it called? Can we just steal their mox jet? Yeah, we're doing that. I'll make an emblem. That will be a one level. A, a one dollar. It's any, anything text based is one dollar. Oh man, my signet doesn't deal you any damage next turn. That's messed up. Ooh. Ooh. That's a goodie. <laughs> that's a goodie. Do we steal their. M I guess we see what they have first. It's Hero of Blade holding something. Oh, the Lingering Souls that we remanded like 10 turns ago. Huh. Let's take Hero. Steal this. And use you. And then... I feel like we're in good shape here. What is this, 5, 10? We're just going to keep untapping artifacts because... Uh, realistically, next turn, this is a legit... This is 5, 10, 15. This is a legit win condition, so...
And that'll do, pig. All right, we saw Gideon and Supreme Bird. They, they seem like they're more controlling than I thought. This is more control than I thought. Also, our deck does not care about Supreme Verdict, really. Um, Tezzeret's been shining. What a shining star. No matter who you are. There's no of me. I don't know if we want to cut a card. I don't know if I care enough. Actually, Murderous Cut might make the cut. Murderous Cut might make the The only card I've seen that I really care about Murderous Cutting are Monastery Mentors and uh, Hero of Blade Hold. Both of which are very good. But we have a good number of answers to those cards. We have Ultimate Price, Bone Shredder, Treachery, Noxious Gear Hulk. Is that enough? Phantasmal Image is a good answer to a Hero of Blade Hold, at least. Or the other guy, I guess. Hum, 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 hum. I might take out the Recurring Nightmare and bring in a Murderous Cut. I kind of like that. I, my problem with Murderous Cut is that our deck doesn't have a ton of ways to get cards in the graveyard. But we do accelerate our mana with a, um, other cards, so maybe. Yeah, Recurring Nightmare seems cute, but I don't think we need it. Plus, we don't have a ton of creatures. This hand seems okay. Double Blue Treachery, and not really doing much, though. I don't think it's a mulligan, but I don't necessarily love it. They have Mystic Confluence, and what was the other card they used to bounce their guy? Blink of an Eye? Sure. Wow. People love strip mining on turn t on turn one. It's very strange. Or on turn turn X, I guess. That actually makes our Death Rite Shaman a lot better, comically. <laughs> That's actually great. That's two activations for Death Rite Shaman. So next turn we can go Monolith. That seems real good for us. What a what a crazy draw. Do, 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 do. And also we can untap Monolith of Tezzeret next turn. That's pretty brutal. I'm just stealing that. <laughs> Saw you for a blue. We have to use this. Treachery you. This is a pretty good turn. Yeah, I don't understand the turn one, the turn one strip mine. Like, unless you know your opponent is mana screwed, like it just there's so many better targets. Like a celestial colonnade. If we have a man land, if we do get stuck on one color, like it just feels weird. If we get a blue here, we can cast this Tezzeret. Are they going to just bounce Monastery Mentor? <laughs> As you do? Yeah, sure, you can have him back. We're done. Damage is done here. That's a good draw. Um. So what can we do here? We can untap both of these and then just have two 5-5s five next turn. We can also activate this if we really want to. Which I don't think we do. We're just going to deal one instead. Let's 
Our board seems pretty good. Even if they Supreme Verdict here, we still have Bitter Blossom Tezzeret on five. It seems pretty insane. I mean, we know they have Monk in hand, so they can go Monk. Like, it just gets to a point where Fairy Rogues just take over. Fairy Rogues, what up? What up, Fairy Rogues? Lingering Snolls. Interesting. This tells me that they don't have Monastery Mentor. And they don't have another land, obviously. Otherwise, they would have just played Monastery Mentor and then played something for two. If you just attack for five, that doesn't seem great now. Uh, not ideal. Fairy Rogues, take me home. Oh my god. We can get a sort of body in mind and put it on the rogue, but then like they just block that, I guess. Belfal Strix, Mana Crypt, Thran Dynamo. None of these cards are super exciting. Uh, we're definitely exiling your Lingering Souls, that's for sure. I do like getting Sword here. Which video did you storm the most? I have no idea, Iron Chef Sammy. West Virginia, sort of be mind. Put it here on the rogue. Fairy rogues. Take me home. Actually, might as well put on the monk, right? Like, because otherwise they just... I want to have two blockers for the flyers because our Tezzeret is a... Is of utmost importance. This is a... Eh, we'll keep you back. They're going to chump block here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'll block with a spirit token. Alright, we'll pass. Could have moved the sword over, but then the monk dies. So that doesn't seem ideal. Oh, that Mind's Desire one was good. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, ho ho! Yep, so when you have Mentor in hand, I don't think you're getting rid of Mentor for any reason, so. Uh, haircut did not happen. You should be able to tell. Look how long this is. This is unbelievably long. But if you can't tell if I got a haircut or not, that's probably pretty good, right? Because that says that it looks, it looks, it passes the did you get a haircut test. Oh, we're just leveling up here? Level up! Give me any spell here. This would be great. Paying costs. What is this? Waiting for them to pay cost. They have a card in their hand that they can pay costs for. That's super interesting. Force of will? Oh. That's a bad Larry right there. I guess we don't have to cast it yet, right? West Virginia, mountain mother, take me home. 
Country Road. I guess we gotta put Jace to one here, right? What does this lose life, right? Each opponent loses two life, sure. Paying costs, what is this? Oh, that's true. Anything will let you pay the cost. That's fair. That's a good point. I accept your your correctitude. I'll untap two two artifactos. I'll untap these guys. And then tap this guy again. Four, five. I guess we can actually attack all at Jace. Uh, Jace, 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 and Jace. So you block here, you block here, Jace goes to one. Seems okay, I guess, but we lose both of our prowesses. Or we can attack your face. Face is the place, I guess. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll face you here, you'll probably still block. Yep, and then you can block a prowess guy and Jace goes to one. This all seems very okay. Jace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Um, yeah, it's gonna pass. Scarab God is a heck of a dude. We'll see. We'll see. We will be using Deathrite Shami's ability to exile your, your, your perms. Oh, isn't that interesting? Oh, isn't that special? I imagine you're getting rid of Scarab God, because that is a dude. You can also get rid of Sword of Body and Mind. Oh, you get rid of Sword of Body and Mind. <laughs> you got it. You got it, Jace. Look at my things. You old creeper, you. More like Jace the Peeping Tom, am I right? Um, that's a good card. Did they let us keep it? Oh, they put it on the bottom, so we do get a random one. A random boy. Nothing in your nothing that we can do about that, unfortunately. Like we can kill the Jace, which is pretty sweet. But we do have to block with the fairy rogue if we want to do that. Yeah, we're just blocking. I'll give you one more Tezzeret activation to keep, or one more Jace activation to keep our Tezzeret alive. All right, something good off the top. Mole Drifter would be pretty sweet. Also, the Death Rite Shaman doing some work here. Hate a duress. And this guy gets bigger, so now actually now we can pressure the Jace and get Scarab God back. And then get Banisher Priest in the graveyard if they don't choose to block. Oh, Teferi. And your hand is Archangel of Thune. Okay, we're doing a thing now. Let's see how badly you want to keep your Jace. And we're definitely getting a Baleful Strix here. Yep, that is correct. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, West Phyrexia, take me home, 
Mountain Road. Oh, okay. Scarab God's a hell of a drug. Um, let's go get a twofer. Yep, this seems fine. <laughs> this seems very, very good. Yeah, if they play so are we just get back Banisher Priest in response, and that's just insane. I guess they could save their Jace to bounce the Banisher Priest, but then they lose Jace. And then we just have to deal with the Sower of Temptation, which is not terribly hard, I guess. Dance all night, play all day. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do it now. One, two, three, four, five. They could just bounce it with Jace, but then they lose their Jace. So, you know, whatever. They have no black mana, so they can actually activate Scarab God. If we have any way to kill it, we get it back. Yep. This is what we predicted, which is still unfortunate, but... We just have to deal with the Sower, and we have lots of cards that can do that. So near your hand is Angel. This guy's aggressive. We're just going to get the relevant cards out of their graveyard for now, like Blink of an Eye. I would really like to see a Yawgmoth's Vile offering in this cube, because there's a lot of cool Planeswalkers. Like, being able to destroy one at, like, their Sower and get back at their Jace is pretty insane. Fantastic. We have a good time. I just want to thank the Academy. Oh, they said good games. Good games. I mean, they could draw Supreme Verdict. But we still untap with the Tezzeret and we get our Scarab God back. So I don't know if that's going to really do the job. Got him! Stipulation is going uh, quite well, I might say. Quite, quite well. Quite, quite well. <sighs> Shake it up. Wow, 
Why is everyone saying stip at the same time? I don't understand. It's literally right above you. My only issue with, with Gear Hulk is that he's six mana. Six mana is a lot in the cube. I will play first. I will certainly keep this hand. Turn two Strix or Remand, turn one Shaman. If they play a fetch land, turn three Dynamo. That is just Dino Might, is what that is. Are you excited to have double? Do we only have, how many do we have now? Do we have 10? Oh, real close, real close. Are you excited to have double? We'll get, we'll see. I'm gonna call, cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's not count our trophies before they hatch. Uh, I say that being a trophy hatching expert, so I know exactly how trophies are made. I'm a stipulation. Can you draft me? <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, that is good stuff. I'm a fan. Every day is Trophy Sunday. I guess depending on what they do, we'll see if we keep this remand up. Remando Calrissian, am I right? That's from the Star Wars movie. I don't know if you guys have seen the Star Wars. It's an epic saga of adventure and espionage and intrigue every day is chicken sunday i'm just gonna crack this and get a blue we're gonna crack it anyway well how we got double black double blue now so that's cool and i think we're gonna strix it i'm not too worried like this the green deck is really the deck i want to be able to uh do other things i'm just gonna attack with this guy too uh, if you guys haven't seen the Star Wars movie, you're probably you should, probably should should check it out. It's older. It's an older movie, but uh, it's about space, uh, space camp. This guy Luke wants to go to space camp, but uh, his dad, his uncles, his uncle and his aunt won't let him. Treachery one time. Oh, it's a little Scrabble God. I think we just throw in Dynamo here. Throw in Dynamo, actually. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Uh, it's not black and white. It's it is in color, but you know. Please, Frank. There's only one more season. Yeah, but I mean, you know, when you're getting older, you're in your, you're in your, you're in your formative years, and you want to go to space camp, and it's just like, come on, just let the dude go to space camp. Give him his space camp. I'd rather this be a Karn, to be quite honest. And we can make a two-two. He yeah, wants to make a two-two. I'm just gonna block. I, I will. I will definitely trade here if they want to attack. And if they want to attack with Edric, I'll block that guy for show. And if you want to have an answer to my Baleful Strix, I'll cry. And this is the range of emotions that we have right now. Oh my. My discomfort grows. Oh, I see. Well then. Oh, wow. I'm going to actually kill you and then steal your Edric. How does that sound? God, they get to draw like five cards this turn. They get to draw three, and then they can actually sack this guy to draw two more cards. Skull Clamp is not a reasonable magic card, and anyone who thinks it is uh, needs their head examined. That's pretty much where I stand. So, just going to draw two more? Oh, thank goodness. They're at seven cards. They really don't need any more cards. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, four. We can actually do that and keep Remand up? Oh, that's pretty good.
Chicken Sunday. What's in your head? Let's see if we hit any Eldrazi. No Eldrazi. We did get an opposition. And a Rafelos. Oh, this is real good with Scarab, Scarab God. Let me tell you what. Can we drop Mana Crypt next turn? Mana Crypt, uh, Mana Crypt and, uh, and Thrandino exactly pay the colorless costs on the Scarab God and his activation. So that's pretty cool. We're just remanding this. Whatever. Get out of my face. I'll replay it then. I don't care, bro. I got pro green. I'm the most pro green you'll ever see. Wow. You're going to draw more cards? This is amazing. Incredible. Dang it. I always forget to unmute the desktop volume. It always ruins the experience. Yes! Gah! Gasoline, dude! Did you see how excited I got there? That was unbelievable. Do we just reanimate an Edric here? I guess we can wait to see what we get. I think I think uh waiting for this to trigger is worth drawing one less card. Shardless agent? No. Muldrifter seems great. They have four cards left in their deck? Sure. Sure. Man, we didn't even get a universe of simulation on that one. You got it. You got it. What are you gonna do? They're gonna add a blue and then they're gonna time spiral here. Here, any? It's gonna be incredibly sad. Put a counter. Bribery. Big bribs. Our deck is not that good, sir. I guess that's fine. I have no responses to it. So, what can they get that's not a? I guess they can get Noxious Gear Hulk, which is pretty good. But then we just get Scarab God Muldrifter? Is that right? We could also get Rex Sage. Yeah, we got the blue green deck with uh with a sort of body in mind. That's pretty that's pretty good. That's a pretty good. They do get to see our whole deck, which is nice, but they have three cards left in their library, so. It's not a bad. I wish we could Ancestral Recall them. That would be such gas. 4-4 four, four Muldrifter letting us draw two cards is pretty insane. Uh, Strix is in our graveyard, and it's also pro-blue, so that would be... That would just kill them. <laughs> Presuming one of the last three cards in their deck is not an Eldrazi. Sort of body and mind would just kill them. Oh, Mesmeric Fiend. And then we get to draw. Or we don't, they don't get anything. They just get no hits. And we win the game. All right, cool. That's that's good times. That's good times. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I kind of want the Duress just because they have stupid uh what's his name the guy you know the guy they got the guy in the deck actually we probably could have been splashing we got we've drawn golgari signet so many times that we probably could just be splashing this Vraska. we also do have death right shaman so we actually have the same amount of green sources as red sources almost except for we have black leaf cliffs but i mean otherwise we could also search for this with tezzeret so technically we do we have tezzeret signet and death right shaman and for the other one, we have Mountain, Black Leaf, Cliffs, Death Ride Shaman. So it's it's actually kind of similar. And boy, Vraska does kill everything. Blaska, Blaska? <laughs> Vraska can actually blow up opposition, which is pretty relevant. I want to get rid of the Recurring Nightmare and add the Vraska. I don't feel like we're going to have any trouble casting her, he said famously. 
she's gonna be in the opening hand. Oh, this hand is on fire. Turn one Signet and Death Ray Shaman. Oh boy. Turn two Karn. Oh boy. Making a 3-3. Three, three. Guys, did you hear me when I said oh boy? Your turn. Oh boy! Actually, next turn we can go one, two, three, four. F we can actually play. Uh, I always heads. Lost the flip. Never, never lucky. Oh my god! Is this real? We're just doing this instead. What is this cube? What is happening right now? We're having a good time. Reclamation Sage. Still, I, th I still think we had a good run, guys. I think we had a good run. Always heads. Never heads. Heads is just killing us here. Um, We don't have any blue sources yet, but we actually do because Death Ray Shaman just literally added a million mana. That's pretty intense. So we can go one, two, three, four, Thran Dynamo, Karn, make four, four. Or we can just reveal here. Nope, making a four, four. I will attack. If you want to block with your Rex Sage, that is more than fine. Do you have any way to get Sword back out of the graveyard? I don't think so. <laughs> Imagine that out of context of MTG. What is this cube? Ah! Wow, this guy really likes geometry. Yeah, we're just going to Noxious Gear Hulk this guy. I would exile the Sword of Body and Mind. Just for the YOLOs. Alright, let's go heads again, because we can't lose three in a row, right? Okay. My mistake. My bad. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Oh, we need another black. Do we not have two black there? All right, let's 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 have a do-over. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's got to be the way it is. Whatever. Oh, that <laughs> all right. That'll do it, I guess. Wow, 3-0 with the odd even stipulation. This deck was sweet, dude. We were actually going to make... Uh, that would have made our Karn token a 5-5. Five five. We would have made another token, which would make them both 6-6s. Six and then we would have played Baleful Strix. So we would have had two 7-7s, seven sevens, a Noxious Gearhulk, and a Baleful Strix on board. And a Death Rite Shaman. This deck was great. Feel free to check out my Patreon page. I actually just posted new Frank Thoughts today. Uh, its link is in the description of the video. And also feel free to check it out because I will be posting my top ten, fa my top eight favorite uh, M19 cards uh, in a few days. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. If you guys are interested, you can also submit your own deck stipulations in the description below again. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.